Widespread child sex abuse cover up by Chicago priests. Victims' attorneys say thousands of church documents made public this week prove just that. Mentioned in those documents, Tucson's Bishop Gerald Kikanis. The Archdiocese of Chicago made the documents public as part of a settlement with abuse victims. Now, in your side, Justin Shecker is here now with the Tucson Connection. Justin. Well, Stella, Tucson Bishop Gerald Kikanis served in Chicago's Catholic Church for more than 25 years before moving here. A statement from the Tucson Diocese says his name is only mentioned peripherally in a few documents. Attorneys say he's one of many church leaders who should have done more to protect children. 6,000 pages of documents detail decades of child abuse and according to attorneys, a massive cover-up in Chicago's Catholic Church. Tucson Bishop Gerald Kikanis is named in connection with two of the 30 abusive priests. The first is Russell Romano. I spoke with Patrick Wall from the law firm representing the victims. Father Romano is, is accused of the whole gamut of uh, sexual perversity. Allegations of abuse by Romano at the now closed Quigley Seminary South began in 1985. On April 28th, the head of the seminary, Father John Klein, asked his predecessor Kikanis for advice. Bishop Kikanis told him to first express concern for Russ and his personal problems, and the drinking, movies, hugs and kisses with our students must stop. Wall says Kikanis should have done more. Normal course would have been to, to call the police or to call Department of Child and Family Services. A year later, the seminary notified Child and Family Services. Romano was fired the next day. The Tucson Diocese released a statement saying, Father Klein's recollections do not always match Bishop's memory. It also says, had the severity of Romano's behavior been known, Bishop Kikanis would have said to take more forcible actions. The documents say Kikanis was contacted about where to place Father Robert Becker after he was released from sex abuse treatment. Kikanis came here in 2003 to help clean up child abuse in the Tucson Diocese. Stella, back to you. All right.